All right, today I'm going to try to redo um, the, I'm going to take off, um, replace the thermostat. I just noticed there's gas on that. So I may, I'm going to check out that too. That may be where that gas smell is coming from. Anyway, let me check it out and I'll do some video. First of all, I removed this. This. And this. Pieces off there, I'm gonna unscrew this, this, and this, and pull this connector out of here to get more room. Just undo these clips from the um, air box and then you kind of got to push the air box over a little bit push the air filter kind of in and then just kind of turn and you see that'll come loose back there so just take that out the air filter had a bunch of leaves in it out okay now I'm going to just push those back in here thought about these right there it's kind of dirty so now I'm going to um, I'm gonna take this off just to kind of get it out of there a little bit and then I'm gonna take this bracket off these two right here and i'll take these throttle cables off i may wait until i get that bracket off okay 10 millimeter i'm just going to take this bracket off here get turn around and i'll i'll i'm just going to take these two bolts off All right right there oh man well I gotta fix that that broke be gentle with this stuff oh goodness okay well I gotta fix that okay so I'm gonna take that off right there guess that gave me a little bit more clearance take that off Take that off. Take that bracket off. I removed that and just pulled this back a little bit. I'm going to remove um, this because I'll have to take the throttle body off. Bracket's loose already. Um, I think I've got one more bolt down there. Right there to get to take this bracket off. And then I'll pull the bracket off. So I removed that bolt down here. Now the bracket should be ready to come off. Yeah, it's coming off. I'm just going to disconnect these cables. I got to figure out how to do that for the throttle body. And uh, that should be it. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to disconnect that, that connector to the battery. This one right here is kind of a little pain you can see it kind of just fits in there you basically like i take a a big kind of thicker screwdriver and i just put it right there and then i just pushed it in and it, it came off but it's not real fun the other one just kind of goes around and loops into that hole so i'm just going to pull this back now or i think i'm going to Oh, that pigtail's still in there. You can see it moving right there. So let me pull that out. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about right there. So then I'm just gonna take this and set it aside over here. Try not to move it too much because I don't want anything else to break. Okay, so there's my throttle body. Now, 
I gotta get. Uh, I gotta take this off right here, this connector. And then, um. Get out of here. Get out of Cause, be quiet. And then I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna take those off. Right now, that one and that one. So that, that one is right there. Uh, let's see. Let me show you. So it's right, right there. Kind of hard to see. I'm gonna take that off and I'll show you a second. Oh, something all the time, man. Huh? Something all the time. <laughs> Trying to fix something. Um, thermostat. You got to take the engine apart to Ooh. get to the thermostat on these things. Really? It's way down deep in there. Oh, right. So, yeah, lots of fun, man. Okay, so I think I'm ready to start taking this draw body out. I don't see anything. I took out that one, that one. Um, I'm going to have to do these two and pull those back. I think I've seen some guys take this off and I've seen some guys leave it on. So I'm just going to see what I can do. I'm going to loosen up that bolt. I hear there's another bolt right there that I got to take off to get to the, the bolt that holds the throttle body in. So I'm going to do those right now. Okay, so now I'm going to take that off. That picked up. I'll mark all this stuff with those little dots so I can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm trying to get to take, let's see, take that off. I guess this bracket just. Moves down. I heard you have to bend this. I'm just going to try to figure it out. Alright, so I'm having trouble getting this throttle body off. I think there's a bolt in there, but I can't see anything, of course. I can't tell. Oh no, that's for the thermostat. going that's where that bracket is there's supposed to be a bolt behind this but I got to get this bracket off so I got to take that black thing off and I heard it's kind of you don't want to take it off from the top so I'm gonna loosen it up here see if it gives me any play and we'll just try that it's a little eight mil okay, so I took this off I took the speak to the um, spark plug wires off so I could move this thing around and I was able to move it enough so these things popped off you gotta be careful though up in there because you don't want to disconnect it completely from up there up in there I don't know if you can even see that move but just move this around a little bit hopefully let's see yeah there's there's the nut for the throttle body awesome so just jiggle that around and just push it a little bit it'll come off you know just slide it forward it just those just actually popped right off which is awesome yeah, i was able to just that's it right there i was able to pull this down and just push it around and i got this in so i'm gonna take this off right now my throttle body should be out As I was doing this, my throttle body's coming loose, you can see, which means I'm on the nut. It's right there. You can't, you can't it's really hard to see. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna take this off real quick and be careful. And then I'll shoot some more video. 
Okay, there's that. There's that bolt. So the throttle body just came out of those two, two holes right there. That's the bolt that was on the bottom right there. I just pulled it all out. I disconnected that. Those two electrical connectors. You see, it's pretty dirty. And then <clears throat> I just slid off. That's where that bracket right there goes. Um, let me prop it up here. That bracket goes right there. And I, you know, I had trouble. It's like a stud, so I had trouble moving that out. I had to disconnect that and just jiggle that black thing. Do it easily. Those pop right off after I remove the hose clamps. And uh, so now I'm gonna take this out. Try there's my there's my um, thermostat bolt. So I'm gonna try to get in there. You can see that one in the back. It's, that's always the hard one, of course. And but we're closer, so all right, take your wrench, and I had to go around this exhaust. You go around that, you can see, you, you put it on, you gotta be slow and patient. I'm, I'm just gonna show you, because I can't do this with two hands. You come in from the bottom, you just break it just a little bit. You can break it, it's really not super tight. That is right in there. And then just take your time and get it Remember, out. Remember, this is hugely important. <clears throat> that back bolt, the thermostat housing goes just go rolls over the top of it. So you don't have to take it out, just take loosen this it. off. So I can get to it a little easier. And I'm about to have take this off, so I'll just pull this back. Okay, the back one's the top one's off, the back one's loose. I've heard that you can just pull this off, but we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. I may have to undo the back one or loosen it up more I'll um, you know. that back one has to be loosened up some more it's really hard to get to you can't even do it with your hands um but uh i spoke too soon i'm actually moving it now take it off a little bit at a time like i said i don't think it has to come all the way out we'll find out in a minute and you see how close it is but it's still just hanging on barely so i'm gonna keep messing with it See if I can get it off. Okay. You see that the thermostat in there? You gotta take that back bolt off enough to um, to get it past that piece. It's really close. I just don't wanna take that bolt all the way off. But we'll see. I may take it all the way off. I'll probably what I'll do. And then I'll thread it in before I put it in. Then we'll go from there. So there it is. I did have to take it all the way off. Um, the thermostat kind of pokes out too much. And you can't get the housing off. Um, but then once it did, you know, it just popped right off. Now, I got to play around with it because I'm going to have to, when I put it back on, I'm going to have to, like, do it at the same time. Try to get it in there. Anyway, that's off for now. See what happens when it goes back I just in. took a screwdriver and I'm just, well, I can actually do it by my hand. And then that just comes out. Now, give me another gasket, another thermostat. I'm going to clean that up and uh, clean up my throttle body. And I'm sure you want to replace that gasket as well. Place that gasket on the throttle body as well. It's a good time to replace the coolant temperature sensor as well when you have all this out. I don't know what the failure rate is on this, but this is a $10 part. Um, I've heard that they, they fail on these. I just do some um, some Teflon tape on this as well. But anyway, yeah, I would suggest doing this just like, you know, because it's pretty far in here too. Um, so, I'd suggest doing this. I'm not going to get it too tight. I'm just, because I don't think it needs to be too tight. That's about it. Okay. Here's the new thermostat. We'll put it in there. And I'll see how hard it is to put on. Um, I don't know if I got to take that back all the way off. I'm just going to fiddle around with it. I had to take it off to get it off. So that bolt is pretty hard to get to. So um, we'll just see how it goes. I'll let you know. So that, that I'm going to hope. I had to take that bolt off. So I'm going to try to just squeeze it in there. It's just really going to be tough. So we'll figure okay. it out. Super pain in the butt. That back bolt, right? There's not enough room to get this thing in here. And you're like, how did I get that thermostat in here? 
with that back bolt where I don't have to put it on later. So what I had to do was I took that back bolt, I had to take that back bolt out all the way to get it out. So when I put it back in, I just barely threaded it by like one little piece so I could get that in there as much as I could, right? And then I put the thermostat in the housing and I just like moved it around a little bit and it finally, like you put the tip end of the thermostat in there and then you just like wiggle it around and that's how you get in. The thermostat has to be in the bell housing and that bolt has to be in there because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to that bolt. So anyway, that's the way I did it. I put the, the thermostat in the housing. I put that bolt on first, put the thermostat in the housing, wriggled it around, put the end of the thermostat into the block and then I was able to click and it just went right in. So nasty time consuming bolt back here. So I'm having a, you can barely see it. I'm having to go from the back, see my arm? Back around that exhaust pipe. Then I'm having to turn it like a little bit at a time, spin the wrench around, turn it again. This, if you had, I don't have a ratcheting wrench. If you did, I think this would be a perfect time for it. If you could get it even to ratchet once, which I think you could, but I'm having to like spin this thing. I don't know if you can even see that, the back bolt, but I'm having to spin this thing around each time I tighten it. It's fun. It'll come, but you just gotta take your time. All right. That is on, remember, I, I took this off because I had to like I took this off because I had to like move this around because you got to put that that um, thermostat in there put the back bolt in first and put a thermostat in the housing then you stick the tip end of the thermostat into the engine jiggle it, it'll pop in you're like yes okay or, or 13 millimeter Eat, top one's easy to get to. At the bottom one, I would suggest getting your ratchet, a ratcheting wrench. Okay, we been smelling a little gas in the car in the mornings, and it's been a little hard to crank sometimes. It's kind of weird kind of cranking. Anyway, when I pulled it up here, 20 feet from where I parked to do this work, I noticed this was covered with um, fuel. So I'm going to replace. This is the fuel pressure regulator. I'm just gonna check it out and maybe replace it. Uh, fuel I'll pressure you. regulator, I guess, you know, this bottom line turns opposite. I guess that's for safety or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it's kinda broken up to them. Replace this right now. Fuel pressure right. regulator. I guess this just comes off, I undid that thing. Now, I don't know how this comes off. We'll find out in a second. Looks like it's moving, making a little movement. We'll see, I'm gonna use two hands. Okay, it's off. I just had to like pull it back, wiggle it around a little bit, and it finally gave up. There it is, that's it right there. So it goes like that, sits on top of that, goes into that, just pushes into that fuel rail Right there. Mine was leaking, so I'm gonna get another one. Okay, I'm replacing the fuel pressure regulator. We had like a smell in the car. I noticed when I pulled it up, this thing was wet. So I got all this stuff off, so might as well replace this while I'm at it. Cause you gotta do all this to get to it. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. It just sits right down on top of that. This bolts up to it, and then it just pushes in to that gently, and then this nut goes in there. Um, so it sits on top of that, sorry. It sits on top of that. This screws into it, this nut screws up into the bottom of this. And then this pushes into there, and then it tightens down with this nut into here. So I'm gonna do that right tough now. too put that in what you gotta do is this is actually kind of hard to feed when you're doing it so you got to like stick that tube up in there just a little bit and then like twist it into place here and it'll like um, 
it'll like pop in and then you gotta push up on this and turn it remember this goes counterclockwise to tighten it um, put that in and you're good to go on this so today I replaced the fuel pressure regulator the um, thermostat you can see my, my thermostat my temperature is good my heat is working well which is the whole problem uh, I don't smell fuel in the car which we were smelling because of the fuel pressure regulator um, <clears throat> I replay. I cleaned the, the the throttle body. It was really caked up, nasty. Cleaned it. it seems to be running much better. Uh, knock on wood. Um, so just driving around, checking it out. But my temperature's nice, and I got heat in my car.